So in this cabinet behind me is where I keep all my recipes, all my cookbooks, and binders. And they're divided into sections like beef, chicken, soup, salad, so it's easier to go grab a recipe. Well, in my chicken binder, I have held on to this recipe for at least a couple of years. Well, today's the day I'm finally gonna make it, and I'm so excited. I'm also gonna share with you how I am making rice pilaf in the Instapot for the very first time. It worked, it turned out great. I followed my normal recipe, didn't do anything different to it, and it came out perfect. So get your aprons on and come cook with me. Season both sides of your chicken thighs generously with salt and pepper, Italian herb seasoning mix, and that's usually a combination of dried thyme, oregano, and other herbs. The recipe calls for four chicken thighs, but I just used a whole package. Skin on and the bone in. Also preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're gonna heat some oil on medium high heat in a large skillet. Add the chicken thighs, skin down, and then you'll cook for about five minutes on the skin side until nicely browned. Transfer your chicken thighs skin side up to a foil lined baking sheet. And you'll bake these for about 20 minutes or until the chicken thighs are completely cooked through and no longer pink in the center. While that is in the oven, I'm gonna start on my Instant Pot rice pilaf. Turn your pot on saute. So I added a half a tablespoon of butter and a half a tablespoon of shortening. Then I add usually about a half a cup of orzo. And what we're gonna do is lightly brown that Sometimes I brown it too dark, which I did this time, but it was fine. So to stop the cooking process on my orzo, I add two and a half cups of chicken broth. To my pilaf, I love adding things like chopped mushrooms, any onions that I have, even celery. I just love the flavor that it brings to the rice. Then one cup of rice. I'm using jasmine rice. I'm pretty sure that I had my Instant Pot set for 20 minutes. Fluff up your rice pilaf, and there you have it. It is so good. Okay, in the meantime, we're gonna make the mushroom sauce. You're gonna heat some oil in a large skillet on medium heat, add sliced mushrooms without salting. This way, we can get these mushrooms caramelized, and cook on medium heat for about three minutes, trying to only flip once. Add chopped cooked bacon to the skillet, add heavy cream, one eighth of a teaspoon salt, and some snips of fresh thyme. I didn't have fresh thyme, so I just used the dry thyme that was in my cupboard, but definitely the next time I make this, I'll make sure I, I get fresh thyme, but it still tasted delicious. You're gonna bring this to a boil, stir immediately, reduce to simmer, and simmer away for about two minutes on very low heat. This helps the flavors to blend and the sauce to reduce a bit. Taste and season as needed. When the chicken is done baking and the chicken thighs are completely cooked through, add the chicken to the skillet, and spoon the sauce with the mushrooms on top of the chicken thighs. And voila, there you have it. All right guys, we'll see you soon, bye.